Welcome back to the road. Today we are paying homage to my favorite author by visiting his hometown, Hannibal, Missouri. Hannibal is a revolter. It owns its existence to the Mississippi River and the railroads. It's the ideal American main street. If you go back far enough, the place was inhabited by Native Americans, and there are some ancient burial molds preserved here. In 1890, Moses Bates laid out the town, naming it after Hannibal Creek. I had wondered where the name came from. It seemed strange to name it after someone from ancient Carthage, but it makes sense now. It also seems that someone felt the creek being named after Hannibal didn't fit either, so they renamed it back to Bear Creek. In 1845, there was still only around 30 souls here, but then the Clements came to town. Clements meaning the family of Samuel Clements, better known as Mark Twain. Mark Twain's amazing. There are several museums in town that focus on the famous author who spent his boyhood here. We decided to start with his home. The starting point is in this building, and it has a lot of information and great displays. No, this was not his house, but don't worry, this is part of the tour as well. a few things while venturing along the main street. There are signs all over the place claiming to be the actual site where events or people from Mark Twain's novels happened or lived, like Huck Fan's home here. Can you believe it? This is Huck Fan's home. It's fun, I suppose, to play along. I guess the names were changed to protect the innocent. Moving along, we came to Mark Twain's actual boyhood home. Seems pretty nice. It's too bad his family fell on hard times later on. You can take a selfie by Tom Sawyer's fans if you like. Maybe you can force someone into doing your work for you. Just next door, we find Becky Sasha's home. Oh, that is to say the home of Anna Laura Hawkins Fraser, who inspired the character. Next, we have Mark Twain's father's law office. There's a bed in here, must have had some long nights working. Mark Twain lived above the store when his family was falling the As I mentioned, Mark Twain's family fell on hard times later on. Their neighbor put them up in their home above the store. He must have been very cramped with all those people in such a small space. I tried 
in this world to see how I would have fared in old Hanover. I ended up dying and lingering. Let's head up the street to another museum, this time the Mark Twain Museum. Not to be confused with the Mark Twain Boyhood Home Museum. In addition to some relics of Samuel Clemens' life, you may find depictions of various things from his novels. Next, I thought we would sit down and get the perspective of some of locals. Let's see what they have to say. <laughs> We've learned a lot about our twins. Go ahead, uh, introduce yourself. <laughs> I'm Carol Fix, mm -hmm. and I live here in Hannibal, Missouri. And I'm Ted Fix, obviously live here also. What made you decide to move? It was not our lifelong ambition <laughs> to live in I Hamble, Missouri. A uh, job transfer brought us here. Job transfer. Um, I'm sure you both have seen a lot of changes in the area. Like, what kind of changes have you both seen? That's a good question. This being a small town in mm -hmm. northeast Missouri, I can't say there are any major changes. No, nothing out. We have obviously industry moving in and moving out. Uh -huh. They've redone the um, riverfront, which has been nice, and we do get a lot more um, of the river cruise boats coming into mm -hmm. town. So that has, I think, boosted the economy some. The population here has not changed it has in, in years. No. no, it's not a growing no. area. Mm -hmm. It's been right around 18,000 since we moved here, and it still is. Stay yeah, the same. Since the same. before that, yeah. Yeah. But it's pretty. Pretty constant, I guess, for mm -hmm. whatever reason. Yeah, I, I can imagine. No, I have been um, visiting a lot of small American towns, and uh, most of them I visited are in decline. So ha um, I, I'm not sure if that's the same case for Hannibal. Well, the pandemic, of course, <coughs> uh -huh. had some influence. So a lot of our restaurants and businesses aren't open as much as they used to be. Mm -hmm. But they're still here, and evidently they're prospering well enough to maintain a business and stay open for the most part. So what are the local town folks like out here? Well, it's kind of hard to make generalizations, <laughs> I guess. Just uh, in your yeah, But based on our experience, experience. yeah, we made a lot of nice people here. So it's not unusual to go someplace and see somebody you know versus in a big city, I guess. Mm -hmm. What would you say, Carol? Or? I've, yeah, I, you know, I think we've made some good friends here. It seems like the friends that we have made seem to care about you more. Uh -huh. I guess I, I would say it's comfortable living here. It's yeah. The, <clears throat> I guess the best word I could de describe, um, I would never move to a big city uh -huh. at this point in time. No, no desire at all to live in a, a big city. It's just easier here, less traffic. I was gonna say transportation is much easier. Yeah, you know, we can get anywhere we want in ten minutes. And ten minutes, definitely. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Are there many like fun activities uh, for people to do around here? Well, we've got movie theater, uh -huh. um, <clears throat> some nice stores downtown. Uh huh. Um, he plays. Well, we both used to play pickleball, a lot. Um, so they've got you know quite a couple different places to play pickleball. They've got the YMCA for uh -huh. the kids and also adults. And There's a lot of outdoor activities here, like the river right here mm -hmm. and Mark Twain Lake just 25 miles away. So yeah. we have a boat 
downstairs beneath you here that we take out in the summer and <coughs> do places to camp. We like to go boating and camping in the summertime. Mm -hmm. so, what about restaurants wise? Like, are there many you know good local restaurants around here? Right. Probably the, the nicest in town is the La Bina Bistro, uh -huh. which is kind of a European type menu, uh -huh. but it's very good. Yeah. And a lot of times we, we suggest people staying here at the Airbnb to go uh -huh. out to Fiddlesticks because they have everything. And our experience out there is that they're always friendly, the food's always good, it may not be superb, but it's good, mm -hmm. and the prices are reasonable. And you know the service is good. Since you know we're in Mark Twain's hometown, are you a fan of Mark Twain? <laughs> <laughs> you better We've be. learned a lot about Mark Twain <laughs> since we moved here. Um, well, we knew about Mark Twain before we came yeah. here, and uh -huh. his books. We'd read his books before in grade school and all that. So but that is the kind of unique thing Hannibal has over other little towns. It has the Mark Twain history. Uh huh. So yeah. They have a contest every year for kids going into eighth grade to try out to be a Tom and Becky. And oh, they're, that's nice. Um, okay. They represent the town okay. then at different festivals and different events that are going on. And Our daughter wanted to try out for that when she was in seventh grade. Mm -hmm. She didn't make it. She, we'd only been here at that point. We'd only been here about two or three years. So she didn't know all the history and all the questions. She couldn't answer what they asked her. <laughs> But she told me later that really the only reason she wanted to do that was because she wanted the dress. Uh huh. Oh, <laughs> the, the, fancy, the fancy. Wow. Yeah, the fancy Becky dress. And I said, well, I could have made you one of those. <laughs> so th there is some kind of like celebration every year for Mark Twain? They have several different types of things. They do mm -hmm. celebrate Mark Twain's birthday at the, at the Mark Twain Museum. Uh huh. Well, um, one festival's Twain on Main. Yeah, which is kind of a arts and crafts music type thing. Um, they have a lot, lot of festivals here going on all year, well, mostly in the summer. Mm -hmm. If you really want the Tom and Becky story, you need to go out to the cave and do the tour of the Mark Twain cave. Yeah, I've heard a yeah. lot of all the yeah. cave. That's, uh, <laughs> that gives you the whole Tom and Becky romantic you know, episode of the story about how they were boyfriend and girlfriend and got lost in the cave. Uh-huh. Even though they're fictional. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, fictional. You would not know of that course. they're fictional when you live here. People talk about them like they're uh, real. A lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. It's like Becky's supposedly buried out in Rensselaer. Isn't that Becky? Isn't it? Yeah. I think. Yeah, yeah. So they say you can go out to Rensselaer, which is another town um, outside of Hannibal, that, and you can find her grave. And it's like, well, she's not real. <laughs> yeah, How can you find her is, grave? Yeah, the character's modeled after, supposedly. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> so that's kind of interesting. So people from like all over America, they come. Yeah, Hannibal's definitely a tourist town. In the wintertime, you don't see near the number of people downtown, but mm -hmm. it warms up all through the summer and fall. There's a lot of tourists here. Mark Twain wasn't the only famous resident of this small town. It was also the birthplace of the unsinkable Molly Brown. The museum was not open while we were in town, but it was interesting to see where such a legend started out. Finally, we're heading to the Riverview Park to take in some views of the Mississippi and visit the famous statue of Mark Twain. I can imagine Mark Twain was standing out here watching over the Mississippi River. It really is quite a sight to see after reading about it all my life. Here we are, my favorite author, overlooking the mighty Mississippi. I hope you enjoyed this visit to Hannibal, Missouri. There must be something in that water. <laughs>
or maybe the soil to have nurtured such amazing people. Thank you for watching. See you next time.